Hello folks! Welcome back, or I'd like to thank you for your patience actually. For I'm the one, the only, I am a hobo Tom. And I'm getting, I'm, we're just going back in time. I think what I'm going to do, mainly because of work situations, um, a whole bunch of other stuff. Oh yeah, you want to hear other stuff. Let's see if I can do this on the mic now. Let's see, wait. Ooh, that was a good one. Yeah. I don't know what I did, but that was me literally popping my shoulder in and out of place. I have no idea what happened. Or I have a clue what happened. But as to the specifics of it, I don't know. That's a whole other issue. I think it just got aggravated. I think it's called getting old. But yeah, those weird pops you were hearing, that was my shoulder popping in and out. Which actually feels a little bit better today. It's been like, like the pain threshold has been going down. So I think pain threshold is kind of inching up. So yeah, between that, um, the two other videos I put up for the 4th of July, those are more important than basic videos. Especially the soccer fest. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching all my videos. There are going to be some more live event videos coming up. Got my new event calendar that I do have to fill out. Because if not, I'll be clueless and just not bother waking up most of the time. But yeah, uh, work starts for me next week, middle of next week. I have a date to go on, so me with hot, attractive women is a lot more important than, than wrestling and smarmy wrestling videos. So yeah, um, also there will be some live events I'm going to be going to, such as on the, is that really the 15th? Yeah, it is. Such as the 15th of July is going to be Smackdown. I might get to that. The 17th, I know I'm almost positive I'm going to. So that's live here in Daytona Beach. It's a nice big house show. So yeah, so there's going to be a bunch of stuff. Again, I'm more. F I, I I prefer to be more focused on getting live stuff uh, for you than kind of what's been going on. So yeah, so I do apologize for this video being old. Um, that's okay. I'm gonna make the best. Cause this was. Oh, this week was Fourth of July. So yeah. So this is from. Let me get to my other book. This is all from in June. This was June. Yeah, June 27th. Cause I got all those other videos done. Cross off these days. I think this book got lost in the bathroom. That's right, because I did go to that. Did not do that. Did all that. Yeah, I tried that. Video. So yeah, I'll almost be caught up, which is a good thing. So this is Monday Night Raw from six twenty-seven. Uh, fairly entertaining show. Let's go through this stuff. Um, I was confused because this thing just started off with the Royal Rumble. Granted, this was before Money in the Bank, which I should get to in order. Yeah, that sounds about. Yeah, doing things in order sounds good. Um, it was kind of a battle royal, kind of a little shock thing. Uh, those eliminated, for the most part, in order. Uh, Tozawa was eliminated first. Shinsuke, Veer, R-Truth. Shanky. Jinder Mahal. 
Ray Mysterio, Ali, Ciampa, Dominic. I don't know. Who's that? I don't know. Someone else. Ray, T-Bone, Dust Ziggler, Shira, and Ricochet, AJ and Miz. And that left... I think Miz the winner. Yeah. Wait, did Miz win that? I don't care who won that now. It was a fun match. There were the double six one nines. T-Bone picked up Reggie. That's the other guy. Just threw him out of the ring. Miz has his fake knee. Miz eventually pulled down AJ Styles. I honestly forgot who won. I'll just say the Miz won. Who knows? It was a battle royal. It's just a ham sandwich. I do some thank you stick about too. I'll give those out next show. When you do the money in the bank stuff. I'll actually write them down too. Uh, then we have the Street Profits. They do the chorus thing like they used, used to do. Uh, Riddle uh, then gets involved. That's pretty cool. Uh, Riddle had an interview. Oh, you know what? Riddle won this. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, Riddle def defeated Miz. Riddle won. He went on to money in the bank. That's right. I remembered something. Then we have this, uh, Jey Uso versus Montez Ford. Ford, classic headlock, shoulder tackle. Again, arm drag, arm bar. Jay. There's a big Samoan headbutt. A couple strikes there. And eventually on the outside, everyone gets taken out. And yeah, Montez Ford, I don't know, one with like a weird roll-up. It was, it was odd. It was really short. Ham sandwich match. Not a good match for, for the Usos. Uh, then we had Ray and Dominic there with the Judgment Day. A little promo there. And then, oh yeah, Cena, This Is Your Life. This is a Cena, This Is Your Life show. Again, it wasn't that bad. Mr. Miz got interviewed. That was fun to see. It was AJ Styles versus The Miz. This is a match that I felt like it was a shoot. Or it was a shoot on because AJ, right after The Miz, this crown and pound of The Miz, the uh, Miz does the good lifting knee. Again, Miz is not a bad wrestler. He's very predictable, very safe. I knows what he's doing. He does the Irish hammer and the clothesline. Follows them up. Uh, and ouch, AJ. He eats an apron. He eats the apron. Trip up in a barricade spot. Ouch. That might have ticked AJ off. Miz was going through yes kicks. AJ, like we come back, like great. Oh, what did I that backbreaker that he does? That's so good. Miz is a hanging code breaker. That's great. AJ is a brain buster. I don't think the Miz liked that. I don't think the Miz likes being dropped on his head too much. These two at the towards the end, towards this whole match, seem kind of chippy. I don't know if it was a shoot or if it was supposed to go. Miz is like, eh, I don't need this stuff. You let you walk down and left. That's rare. And it's also odd. I need that for references. This will be 17. Yeah, these are little, my little production notes on my sticky paper. 17, 18, 19. Uh, the theory came out. With uh, Ezekiel. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Jericho would come out and said, John Cena, you're the man. Which I'm shocked at. I guess if they're allowing AJ on Impact, they just have to give Tony a call and say, hey, we just want him to say hi. They wrestled forever. And then it was uh, Bianca Belair and Carmella. She had a little in-ring thing, Liv and Alexa Bliss interview. Then it was Liv versus Alexa. And this was a short match. It was a face-to-face. -face. Uh, then there was a slap, a bunch of counter-wrestling. Then Liv won with a roll-up. I mean, it wasn't terrible. It was way too short. This is a can of soup match. Oh, yeah, that AJ Styles match. 
That was a ham sandwich. That just was weird. When Mr. McMahon comes out, he introduces John Cena. John Cena sucks. John Cena sucks. Uh, Bobby Lashley versus Alpha Academy is the last test before he gets to Theory. Otis and Lashley square off. They tie up. They do the test of strength. That was pretty good because, again, you don't normally don't see Bobby Lashley taking on people bigger than him. Otis is definitely a big boy. Uh, Chad Gable hit a cannonball onto Bobby Lashley. Otis then just stood on Bobby Lashley. That's just a lot of weight. Great Bob. I'm so happy Bobby Lashley has a good uh, chiropractor because he kind of needed that, I think. Is that one shoulder smaller, too? Or is it? I don't know. Maybe it could be the chair. I was not my freaking shoulder. Wait, what shoulder is it? Why does that shoulder seem... I don't know. I did do something bad. It could be also that I'm angled too. So, we'll see. If it doesn't... God, I hate spending the money for it. But yeah, this is sucks when you don't have health insurance, folks. Get a job. A real job. Am I losing weight? Why did my face look thinner? That's a good that's a good thing too. But yeah, um Bobby Lashley finishes off both Otis and Chad. That was great. Um there's that splash combo. That was a great splash combo and Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley, however. A little cluster mess with the hurt lock. The Chad Gable, Chad taps out. Bobby Lashley's gonna face Austin Theory and Money in the Bank for the title. That was a good match. I'll say that was a cheeseburger match. Wow, this went quick. What about this match? Oh, wow. These shows were quick, which is good. We had a Cody Rhodes interview. He showed off his muscle. Again, I know it's nothing that bad. If it was bad, everything up here would be, like, bruised. So, I know mine's not that bad. Then uh, Seth and John Cena, they had their little moment there. Then there was Becky Lynch, Nikki, Glenn Cross, and Dewdrop taking on Shayna, Tamina, and Zia Lee. Oh, no, it was, uh, I'm sorry. I correct myself. Becky versus Nikki versus Dudra versus Shayna versus Tamina versus Xia Lee. Um, and they're just like, let's go. Be Everyone's staring. Let's go beat up Becky. Which always makes sense. Uh, then it was Tamina versus Dudra, the two big women. That that was pretty cool. And, ouch, that, and that Irish hammer. That little umph to it. And we found out today that the Samoan headbutt. Dudra and Tamina go to headbutt each other. Dewdrop falls down. Tamina remains standing. Smelling headbutt is still number one headbutt. There is. Um, Zia Lee, Nikki, Shayna, and then it's just it's kind of spot fest there. Dewdrop. No one was home for her, her move, whatever it was. There was an exploder. Uh, Shayna the exploder into the barricade. Zylie didn't do much during this. Zylie didn't do anything at all during this match, I think. Maybe like a few spots, but. Then there was the typical Super Tower of Doom spot. Uh, Dewdrop, a splash, a Vader esque elbow. Becky ones with a manhandle slam. And. Becky, Becky Lynch patted someone on the ass. Very typical of a Becky Lynch mask, especially after what we saw. We saw the grouping that Becky got. So yeah, overall it wasn't bad. Cheeseburger match. And wait a second. That's it? Wow, you know what that means. Time for a little break. This is why I have production notes. Because let's talk about NXT. I got another kind of short show. 
Um, I do have a bunch of thank yous to give out. I'll be giving those out once I do my money in the bank kind of recap. You haven't seen it yet. Um, so this was weird. <laughs> Only because a lot of these matches, I like when I went to the Jacksonville live show, my one concern was that this is going to be a practice run for an NXT show. And it was. Actually, I got more action and more ass at the... I'll tell you what. Live. Roxanne Perez and Cora Jade look more grown up and look more like women than they do at these taped events. Which is kind of weird. So you figure taped events, they look bigger. They look bigger at taped event. Actually, they look bigger at the live events. Casey and um, Katana look tiny. Uh, they get they great trades of offense at the beginning. Katana's rope jumping is freaking first class. Perez, she's fast too. <laughs> and then I'm like watching this. I'm like, wait a second. I saw this match before. I saw that sequence of events. This was all what happened in Jacksonville. Yeah, so I was kind of like, okay, I can tune this up for a while. With some good stomps. Stomps! On a truck, touch of traction to the very top of the stage. Uh, Corey J got involved. Prez hit the Lucha Destroyer, Code Red, Pop Rocks, whatever you want to call it. Prez and Corey J to win. Yeah. I, this was the same show. And in fact, when I saw it live, it was better. This gets downgraded to a ham sandwich match. Then there's the Creed Brothers and Joe Gacy. Hey, man. I want you to join us, brother. You don't need no soon-to-be trader Roddy Strong. Yeah, man. This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. And they say that the two uh, dyad guys, that they're um, grizzled young veterans. They're about the right height. They just hide themselves really good. Uh, toxic Attraction interview. I don't know. That outfit, the top of Gigi, makes her tits look, look saggy and flapjacky. Mandy Rose is just like perfect. Mandy Rose is God's gift to NXT. Who's the other one? J JC Dolan? No, Gigi Dolan and JC Jane? I forget. She's just so forgettable. But yet, does she have a great ass? No, her ass was kind of flat. Gigi has a great ass, but, but not so great tits. Manny's just a total package. But yeah, what am I saying? Um, then we had Giovanni Vinici, also known as... Fabian Eichner. Again, he looks good with this gimmick, though. He took on Jiro in jacket style. This is kind of weird. Um, Jiro, Jiro threw the jacket at at Vinici after a while. Vinici did a flipping DDT. That was good. Uh, that's, that's sit out sit out Razor's Edge. Perfect looking for him. Uh, Giovanni Vinici won. I get if this was his first match. Oh, no, it wasn't. But, yeah, maybe it was. Because there was a lot of talk so I might say hey wait a second that's Fabian Nightner so I said yeah you're right you know what ham sandwich match mainly because it was way too short uh, let's see here. then unbeknownst to me there was a little thing with the UK tag team belts, Riggs and Jensen weren't won them. I don't know if that's a good idea. And then the pretty deadly come out. They start yapping at each other. And Braun Breaker is there giving an interview. Then we have Indy Hartwell versus Holland Janes. I don't know who half these girls are on this. 
Like, honestly, other than the cute ones, I have no clue who these people are. If you guys know out there, let me know if I'm butchering the names. If I'm not seeing them, I honestly don't care. If they don't have, they're not peach, peach blonde bimbos or have booty and, and, and thickness to them, I could care less. They all look like generic wrestler women. Um, and I think, how do you miss an arm drag? Oh, once you start missing arm drags, that's pretty good. Uh, Jane's stomps. Indy does the, the uh, draping kick. That was pretty good. Jane's won via dirty pin. You know what? You miss an arm drag. Can a suit match. Again, if, if, if you miss an arm drag, you should be relegated to house shows only. Then me Familia. He killed off two dimes. Dumped them over a bridge. It's not good. Wesley had a promo. Then it was Diamond Mine versus Casey's Cult, the Diet or whatever it was. Um, oh, yeah, Roderick Strong was there. Roderick Strong, classic Matt Wrestling, collegiate wrestling style techniques. Roderick Strong is so good. I just think he's just, he has this look like he's checked out, and it's just waiting, it's like, he's like, staring, okay, soon, soon, soon I can be with my wife and give her tips on how to wrestle people, very soon. God knows Maria Shafir's a freaking garbage fire over there in AEW, that's a whole other issue. Um, the Creed's again... Using your brother's weapons, fun. The dyads, eh, they do a little work. Creed did the setup suplex, that's great. Roderick Strong in the ring, however, he eats what might as well be a, a magic killer by Gacy's Cult. Gacy's Cult wins. The dyad wins. I think Gacy was involved. You know what? I was shocked by this. Cheeseburger match. So there was a Lash Legend pro, Lash Legend talk, whatever. Um, the Diamond Mine, yeah, we're going to see that match that I saw in Jacksonville. And actually, the Jacksonville match was better. F yeah, forewarned, I guess. Be forewarned. Uh, Sanga versus Zai Quinn. This was a short match. I just thought it was a cheap shot and a Simone head, but Sanga lawn darts Quinn, and Sanga hits a choke slam, and that's it. Zion Quinn loses. Uh, Sangha wins. I, I don't know what to say. Ham sandwich. Let's see here. And wow. So I guess the main event was Nikita Lions versus Mandy Rose. Oh, I'll tell you what. That thick hip. That thick the thick hip tack into, into the into the steps that was vicious. Uh, Nikita going for a Juju Katami. Uh, Mandy Mandy Rose gets her come up in um, Gigi and and JC interfere a little bit. And what was weird is that was it. Wait a second, yeah, that was it. That was even the main event spot. Huh, that's weird. Um, Mandy Rose won. Nikita Lyons, it's good to see her back. Enjoy her thickness. She has to get a better top, though, or else one day she is going to have a wardrobe mal malfunction. Vince will note that. Um, this man is okay. It's a ham sandwich. And all the things that Jacksonville, I guess, spoiled me because they were just better. Uh, then there was a little thing to Jordan Devlin. And let's see. AEW was a short show because of that. Impact SmackDown. Yeah, I actually got to watch SmackDown for a change. Nice. That's only on page two. So, I think the reason why it's so short, because it was a battle royal. For the most one, 
everyone in the ladder match except for everyone in the ladder match except for Omos was standing on a ladder. That means Omos, guess what? You're not winning. Uh, the Miz shows up, starts yapping. Then we have a battle royal going on. It's like more like a six man or eight man. Seth, Omos, Riddle, Sami Zayn, Sheamus, Drew McIntyre, and Baron Baron Corbin. Uh, Seth eliminated himself. He's like, I don't have a spot. Screw you guys. I'm out of here. Uh, that was good. Riddle and Zane. Uh, then got down to Riddle and Zane. Zane had a haluva kick. Uh, Corbin then got involved. Sheamus. Uh, the bro interceptor kick. That was good. Uh, Corbin. And. Corbin eventually won. So he won the Battle Royal, which I'm surprised they didn't get him a shot at the Money in the Bank. Overall, so the Battle Royal, it was okay. It was a ham sandwich. Then there was a New Day and the, and the new Viking Raiders. That was pretty cool. They just used their shields and beat them up. That's the way Viking Raiders should be. War, 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 war. And Natalia did an interview... Yeah, she just has to have, like, three kids by now. Useless to the show. Um, then they're backstage. The losers start... Losers are backstage. Are, oh, we suck. Uh, whatever. Then we have Asuka, Liv Morgan, Alexa Bliss, taking on Shotzi, Blackheart, Raquel Gonzalez, and Lacey Evans. Asuka and Shotzi start off. Lacey actually ties herself in. Asuka... Ascended via the Irish Hammer. Again, Asuka was... This was an Asuka-heavy match. Let's see here. Uh, she tossed Liv. Liv got tossed. They just lay there. And... <laughs> that was like some Vince impersonation. <laughs> or I swear Vince came over like the last speaker by accident. That was great. The Liv... Like, wait a second. I don't know this live from NXT. This is... This is a little... That was the moment. Um, shots... Again, this has seen minus... Actually, I, I remember all these in NXT, I think, at one time. And, and Lacey Evans was, was the weakest of them all. Shotzi was there. Raquel was okay. Lacey was lousy. Alexa Bliss was still with Blake and Murphy. Liv was still there, I think, with... um. I think that was when she was, when Cass got promoted, she was still there. And Asuka was there for a long time. So yeah, this is just like, in Shotzi and Liv, this just seemed like a flashback in the NXT. I forget if they face each other. I think they might have, or tag, probably they tag, team, they tag team up together. Uh, Shotzi tries to leave. Lacey then says, no, nah, you can't leave us. Uh, Hunt, I <laughs> know. Hunts her down. There was a die fist then. Shotzi does does something crazy. Asuka missed her hip attack. It's a spot fest. However, Asuka, Liv, and Alexa Bliss prevail. Yeah. It is what it was. Ham sandwich match. Then there was... Adam, Adam Pierce and Boo Sony Deville. Boo Boo Sony Deville. Sony Deville should never get a job back. Boo 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 Sony Deville. Boo. Okay, well, boo. Even if she is a lesbian. Double boo. Because that means I'll never have a chance with her. Triple boo. And she won't show give out the videotape. Quadruple boo. Uh, the Usos then have a little moment with the Street Profits and ask them anything moment. That was ridiculous. Max Dupree. E. Lie. Drake. And L.A. Knight. Max Dupree is a pretty good name, though. Coming with um, Masse and Mansoor. That's terrible. Midcard, definitely. Uh, Ronda Rousey does an interview. Then we have a four-way, The Miz, Riddick Moss. Riz, the Miz versus Riddick Moss versus Ezekiel versus 
Baron Corbin. Um, there was a near tower of doom spot. I think I was cleaning up. I said, you know, this is just... Actually, I think I was getting ready to go to sleep. So my arm hurt at this time. Like, why does my arm hurt? Because I'm watching this garbage show. Um, Miz. Yeah, Miz. <laughs> Miz just kind of stands aside. Eventually, he, he gets double teamed on because then, yeah, they just looked over at him. Ezekiel and Riddick Moss. After they got, after Corbin left, they're just like, "You Miz are it." I know. I'm gonna bed soon. She's be my cat's f fluffy in my leg. Um. Yeah, we might go visit mom tomorrow. You go rest up for that. We'll see. My mom got surgery. She had has like stuff in her. She has like her 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 gums were just like cut open and clean the calcium out. She's I don't want to have calcium deposits in this arm. That potassium chloride is a freaking body wrecker. Um, and it was a punchline by Rick Moss that was broken up by Ezekiel because Ezekiel still wants to win. Uh, Ezekiel did the splash to everyone. That was good. It was a good spine buster. Miz hit the skull crushing finale even though Riddick Moss won. It was okay. It was a ham sandwich match. Kind of a throwaway to the Take Home Show. And that's it for all the WWE for a week. I might do this and might do all uh, WWE Wrestling Saturday, non WWE stuff Sunday. Because, yeah, AEW is only two pages. I might do that. Yeah, so that's, AEW, that's, and that's the WWE stuff for the week. Of June 27th to July 1st. Done. So this is going to get worked on tomorrow. Might bring my parents some Donnie's Donuts. I'm sh sure they have to. My mom has to eat something. That'll be good. Bring the cat. She can pet my cat. Because my kitty cat's good, good for that. Um... Other than that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Um, so, hopefully, I'll be Thursday. Friday, depending on stuff, I should get up. Yeah, Friday ish, I should get up all the non, non WWE wrestling impact in AEW. Well, news and notes from there. Probably also be able to do kind of a quick reaction to some Money in the Bank. It's out of my list. I have, and Money in the Bank and Bank News, they'll just have to be separate. Then uh, Saturday and Sunday will be this week's stuff. We've already seen that. So the next week, I might do the same format. With the exception of just do Raw and NXT together. So Tuesday I'll get that up. Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Impact and uh, AEW and Impact. I might go live Friday, so that that's a whole other beast. And then Sunday I'll also be live. Bunch of live stuff coming in. 